Hi there, young scholars. Welcome back to Young Melanin History Class. I'm Professor Malcolm, and today we're going to learn about a super cool doctor named Dr. Daniel Hale Williams. He was one of the first doctors to fix a heart with surgery. How awesome is that? Let's jump into his story. Dr. Daniel Hale Williams was born on January 18, 1856, in a place called Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania. He was one of seven kids in his family. His dad was a barber, and he had been a slave before he was free. Sadly, when Daniel was just nine years old, his dad passed away, and his mom had to move the family to Baltimore. Daniel had to work really hard to help his family, but he always dreamed big. He first worked as a shoemaker, but he knew he wanted to do something even more important. That's when he decided he wanted to become a doctor, Daniel studied with a local doctor and then went to Chicago Medical College, which is now called Northwestern University Medical School. He graduated in 1883 and quickly became known as a great doctor who cared a lot about his patients. Back then, it was hard for black people to get good medical care, so Dr. Williams wanted to change that. He opened his own medical practice in Chicago and became one of the few black doctors in the city. Professor Malcolm, Dr. Williams noticed that there weren't many hospitals that would help black patients, and even fewer that would let black doctors work there. So, in 1891, he started Provident Hospital in Chicago. It was the first hospital in the United States where black and white doctors and nurses worked together. Provident Hospital was a place where everyone could get good care, no matter the color of their skin. Dr. Williams believed everyone should be treated fairly, and he worked hard to make sure that happened. Now, here's one of the most amazing things Dr. Williams did. On July 9, 1893, a man named James Cornish came to Provident Hospital with a big cut in his chest. His heart was hurt, and back then, doctors didn't think they could fix hearts with surgery. But Dr. Williams was brave and decided to try. He carefully opened Mr. Cornish's chest and fixed his heart. It was one of the first times a doctor ever did this successfully, and Mr. Cornish got better and lived for many more years. Dr. Williams' skills saved his life and helped change medicine forever. Dr. Williams kept doing amazing things throughout his life. He worked at a big hospital in Washington, D.C., where he made sure patients got the best care and helped train new doctors. He also helped start a group called the National Medical Association to support black doctors. Dr. Williams passed away in 1931, but his hard work still inspires doctors today. He showed that no matter who you are, you can make a big difference in the world. All right, let's see how much you remember about Dr. Daniel Hale Williams. One, what kind of surgery did Dr. Williams do? A, brain surgery B, heart surgery C, spine surgery. Two, what was the name of the hospital Dr. Williams? Start it. A, Freedom Hospital B, Unity Hospital C, Provident Hospital. Three, what was special about the staff at Provident Hospital? A, they were all women B, they were all black C, they were both black and white. Write your answer in the comment section. You did great with those questions. Now, I want to introduce someone special who's here to share some wise words with us. Please welcome Grandma Michelle. Hello, my sweet ones. Today, I want to talk to you about something very powerful, how to speak good things into your life. What does that mean? Well, it's all about saying positive words about yourself and your future. For example, instead of saying, I can't do this, try saying, I'm going to keep trying until I get it right. Or instead of thinking, I'm not smart enough, tell yourself, I am smart and I can learn anything. These positive words help you believe in yourself, and when you believe in yourself, amazing things can happen. Let me tell you a little secret. 
Even when Dr. Daniel Hale Williams was doing that tough heart surgery, he had to believe in himself. He probably told himself, I can do this, I'm going to save this man's life. And guess what? He did it. So remember, whenever you're facing something hard, speak good things into your life. Say, I am strong, I am smart, I can do it. The more you say these positive words, the more you'll believe them, and the more you'll see great things happen. Now it's your turn to think like Dr. Williams. Imagine what kind of job or profession you might want to have when you grow up. Maybe you want to be a doctor like Dr. Williams, helping people feel better. Or maybe you'd like to be a teacher, a scientist, or even an artist. Think about what you love to do and how you can use that to help others. Draw a picture or write about the profession you're interested in and how you think it could make a difference in the world. Share your ideas with us. Who knows? You might just discover your future career today. Thanks for joining me today, Young Scholars. Remember, if you have any cool ideas, share them with us. And don't forget to subscribe to Young Melanin History Class so you can watch our next episode. We'll learn about another amazing person who made history. Until then, keep learning, stay curious, and always be kind. Take care, everyone, and remember to spread kindness wherever you go. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out more episodes and share your ideas with us on Young Melon in History Class at gmail.com. Young Melon History Class. Love.